How's it going, everybody? So it finally happened, uh, my first graphics card issue with crypto mining. Uh, this fan right here, this one's fine. This one's completely seized up. Uh, we're going to um, explore taking this apart. This is a 3060 Ti from a Dell uh, gaming computer. So I know each one of these cards is going to, of course, be a little bit different. But we're going to go ahead and take this apart step by step. I have not ordered a replacement as of yet. Oh, okay, so I'm going to get this taken apart and kind of see what we need to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this outer shroud off. Which looks like it is. There's four screws here. There it goes. So there's the outer shroud. It does have a... Um, then we got our fans, which look like they have three screws holding them on. So this is our bad one. I'm guessing these are probably all going to be connected. So let's go ahead and get this off. Full disclosure, I did take this apart once already <clears throat> to try to see if I could clean this. And I did end up breaking off one of the connectors. Um, I've seen some people say you can pop this whole thing off and you can... Try to clean it out to see if you can get it to, um, you know, work again. But at this point, I do not believe that is going to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and completely take all this off now. There are the two fans pulled off. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect. Maybe. Oh, pull that out. Give some space for that. Uh, hard to see here if I guess I want to take this heat sink off too. So there's the plug. <clears throat> there's the plug. See this one. Um, I think they're separate. Let's see if I can maneuver this out here because it looks like. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't see. <laughs> it looks like this one may be plugged in there, and this one's plugged in here. That'd be great if these are independent fans. And that means I didn't need to take that one off. <clears throat> so I'm going to see if I can pull that out and see if this fan completely comes off by just pulling that out. I'm not going to break it any more than it already is. I'm just going to give it a good pull. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, oh, hold on. It's so great if I could get this out without having to remove the heat sink. Okay. I don't know if this whole thing is supposed to lift off, but it did. Oh, I thought this plug. See, there's four prongs there now. Right there. I was assuming this plug actually came out. It, it still looks like it does. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we'll see. So this is definitely the broken one. Good news is that means this one can actually just get reattached because apparently you don't have to replace both. That one's hooked back up. These are the three screws for the other fan. These are the three screws or four screws for the shroud. So I'll make sure I keep those together. All right, now we need to find a replacement fan. All right, so just doing some research here. Basically, what I did is I just went on Amazon, <clears throat> typed in the the model number that's right there on the fan, and it looks like the first sponsored link is definitely it. However, I would like to not pay eighteen dollars, so let's go to this one. FDC. 
FDC10H12D9-C, so that's exactly the same model. It's exactly right. Um, which is kind of interesting. I don't know if the sticker just fell off, but the other fan doesn't have the number on it. I don't know if it's actually different. But this seems like what we need right here. 14 bucks seems overpriced for a fan. I'm going to do a quick little look just to see. Now nah, that's basically what we're going to pay on Amazon. So by the time you're watching this video, I've already ordered. Uh oh, where'd it go? There it is. I've already ordered this. So if you know of a cheaper place to buy parts and get them in a decent time, you know, let me know. Maybe that's not a bad price. I thought it'd be more like five or six dollars. But I need to get this thing up and running again because I'm losing, you know, 30 bucks a month by it not mining. So unfortunately that eats up several weeks worth of profit. Um, but I ain't doing anything just sitting here. So I'm going to get this ordered and um, yeah, we'll jump back into this video once it comes in. All right, so my fan came in. Here is the replacement fan that just came in. This is the old one. So before we get confused, uh, let's go ahead and get that thing out of the way. Here is our new fan. Ooh, it's an AMD fan. That's interesting. <laughs> and uh, to clarify for my last, uh, the last part here, I was like, this is blank on the back. Um, that was just me being dumb because they're both blank on the back. It's the part number is on the, the other side of it. <laughs> uh, that's actually really interesting. It's AMD. So they apparently use the same fans. All right. So let's see here. So the plug, it does look like this, um, this white piece here does have a piece that needs to come off. So there is like a, a covering, which I hope I didn't actually break. <laughs> uh, so this actually does need to come off of here somehow. That's the little plug. And let's see if it goes in. Go. Push that down in there. Ow. <clears throat> yeah, that piece wasn't supposed to pop off, <laughs> but I don't think I heard anything that it did. So that's back on. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in before I mount the fan. I'm hoping it doesn't make any difference the color. I wouldn't imagine so. Okay. So that is plugged in. We need to reattach. Let's go ahead and get some of this dust off of here real quick. Just tucking the wires back in there. <clears throat> and then that. So now that wire can tuck underneath that little piece there, and then all this extra wire. Um, I'm just gonna find somewhere to tuck it. Let's get this last screw put back in. Four screws on the cover. We need to plug this back in. Screw holes lined back up. one in for now. Make sure fans spin. Yep. Okay. Do this side. Okay. Should be good there. That cable is <laughs> awkwardly just sticking out the top. Um, I mean, probably tuck it up under here a little bit. Eh. Good enough. All right, well, let's go plug it in and uh, make sure it works. All right, 
sorry for all the background noise out here. Uh, this is got an air conditioner running and all the crypto miners out here. All right, let's go ahead and turn this back on. And you can see the fan down there. And we're in good shape. Spinning. So I think we're all set. I'm just gonna boot up into Windows real quick and um, yeah, make sure we don't have any uh, thermal uh, issues. Make sure the cards stay nice and cool. All right, so that actually worked. That's how you replace a fan on your GPU. Um, actually was it as hard as I thought it was going to be. Maybe other graphics cards are going to be more difficult, obviously if you have to take off the heat sink, um, but that was actually pretty easy, just taking off the cover and swapping the fan out. Uh, it's running really good. Um, I'm cryptocurrency, uh, mining crypto with this card. Um, it's actually getting 60 mega hash right now, and it's staying below 60 degrees, which is awesome. Um, so that's what that card's getting put back into use for. And uh, yeah, it's ready for uh, hopefully another couple years of, of mining. So I hope this video is helpful on how to replace your fan. And uh, like I said, every car is going to be a little bit different. So unfortunately, this video may not um, work exactly in your case. But if you have a Dell or I think the HP cards are very similar to that, hopefully this is helpful or at least helps you see kind of what the process would look like for you. So if this was helpful in any way, I appreciate if you give the video a thumbs up. helps me out. And if you're not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you get more tech tips like these. Thanks all. See you in the next video.